Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot, and I am here with Carly from Lilith's Window Tarot for episode 28 of Spilling the Tea with Carly and me. How you doing tonight, Carly? I'm doing great. Our little our little uh, chat beforehand got me feeling nice and lively. So um, <laughs> we are we are officially today out of Mercury retrograde shadow today. So Thank if you feel it, right? Lord. If you feel a relief, if you feel a release, if you feel better, that is why. So let's get busy and uh, let's do some good readings. Let's give the people what they want. <laughs> okay, here you go. Okay, so okay, so let's get into Aries. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Aries, please. Aries, taking that leap of faith is causing a tower moment. Ooh, because there's a new beginning with the Empress? Hmm. Okay, so I feel like somebody wants to take a leap of faith. They may want to move forward. Uh, it's causing a tower moment because they, the, they're wanting to move forward to a new beginning of love and abundance with the Empress. Now, this could be the Empress energy here. Um, so this could be, Aries, you could be the Empress here because I always, for me, the first sign that I see is generally who's representing you in my reading, okay? so. I feel like this could be taking that leap of faith may cause a tower moment for this new beginning with Empress energy. So she's moving forward, but there's a King of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy doesn't have to be um, obsessed with something from the past. So let's see what they're obsessed with something from the past. Um, divine timings at play, a victory to communicate. So I feel like the King of Pentacles is obsessed with you, Aries. They're obsessed with something from the past, which would be you, because they want to communicate. They want a victory. They want a, the wheels turning to win in a situation so that this communication happens. So, well, good energy for you. I don't see any negative there for you, Aries. Mm -mm. All right. What do we got? We got a Queen of Pentacles. How about that? <laughs> and a Six of Wands, victory. So, Nine of Swords. So you're going to have, um, you're stressed out. And I, I don't know who this Queen of Pentacles is. This definitely could be you worrying about your money. But you've got victory coming, even though you're worried about it. You may be, you know, stressed out about the money that's coming in. You are, because there's a lot of competition. But you're going to win. You're victorious. Um, you're going to win. Four of Cups. Yeah, it's all you think about. It's like, you like, I just need to just, if I could just grab a hold of this, I could, I could have it. Four of Swords. Um you know, yeah, you're going to, whatever this is, um, these are both right here on this, on this six of wands, this victory card. So this is going to bring some healing for you when this, I feel like it's money. I don't know why. When this money comes in, um, there may be competition for um, a job opportunity, a project, a, a partnership, a, a, a apprenticeship, something like that. Um, three of cups, but it's going to be your happiness. There is a lot of competition a lot of competition God, you're stuck in your brain all over here's emperor emperor energy you're gonna win you know the emperor always always wins yeah and you're gonna be able to have you're gonna be able to, to make the choices that you want to make but somebody is gonna pick you in whatever is going on here yeah it, it, it's work i don't i don't know how it applies to yours or if it even does but this is at work that you're going to have some big victory, get a promotion, a raise, and uh, an apprenticeship, but a partnership, uh, you know, something, something like that. You're stressed out, you're worried, um, but you're going to get your happiness. Um, I mean, you know, like look how happy this person is. You know, they're they've got their money. They're like, woohoo! Two of Pentacles yeah. doesn't always mean juggling, but there is some tight competition. But you're going to win. So there you go. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, right? so Taurus. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Taurus, please. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Okay, Queen of Cups, emotional communication. A lot of blue, a lot of, of, of yeah. blue in the cards right here. So healing a relationship. So the Queen of Cups, there's some communication here, um, emotional communication to heal a relationship and to have a new beginning. Um, coming in as a king of swords, king of swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, energy. This is, this is to me is the toughest king of all, you know, this guy's a badass. 
There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He knows what he needs to do to win against his opponent. And I feel like with him, I feel like he could be... I feel like he's regretted for a long time that he may have hurt you. And so Queen of Cups, I feel like that could be you, Taurus. I feel like you you're very in your in your using your intuition very much in your emotions, emotional communication to heal a relationship, to have a new beginning. This King of Swords has some regret for a long time about breaking your heart. So this person I feel like there. this is an emotional, can we fix it? Can we, under the bottom of the deck, there is divine timing and a victory and a new beginning in love with the two of cups to move forward. Wow. Wow. Okay. Positive Beautiful. energy. You know, look, love we're it. at a retrograde and all of a sudden we have some positive readings here where yeah. they were just like sucking the life out of us for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, they were tough. They were tough. Yeah, they like, were. It was bad. All right. So, God, I keep seeing, I've seen this Queen of Pentacles like five times when I was shuffling. I don't know what's up with the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know if people are wor worried about their money or thinking about their money or whatever it is, but she's a wife, a mother. She's stable. She's nurturing. Um, she's Taurus. She's she's Taurus. Yeah. They're in, and there's the Empress. This could very well be her too, her leveling up. But what is, oh, and the Emperor. Woo! Ooh. My Lord, we got him on deck today got going on what is up and the sun yay so somebody may be worried that they're not enough for someone else but they are they truly are Taurus you truly are the empress you may not think that you're enough you may be worried about it but but you are I mean you are this person's happiness you are who they're going to come to um I feel like it's going to come when you least expect it yeah, look at that. Two of or three of wands and the chariot. You're going to be a bit blindsided by it. But um you you know, the queen of cups has the biggest cup of love in the deck. So here this queen of cups is is really um showing how, you know how much you love this person. Um and it's next to this chariot too. I think you're really really in your feels. Yeah, the lovers and the four of cups. Yeah, it's you. This is you wondering if you're good enough. You are. You are Taurus, whether you're a male or a female, you are absolutely good enough. Two of swords, you are, you're going to be completely blindsided by this and it's going to transform your entire life. It's going to transform everything. Everything is going to change based on this relationship. Everything hinges on this relationship. Know your worth, believe in yourself because you have an amazing love story coming your way. Okay, good energy. There you go. I, I like love the it. Positive. I, I like the positive for a change. I do okay. too. I yes. Do too. So, okay, so Gemini, what do we got for Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know? Gemini, the devil. Woo! Oh. Ooh, ooh. Okay, here we go. Let's let's get real here on this one. Okay, so somebody's obsessed with a third party and they're not speaking to a, in a family situation. So. Uh, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy blocking, blocking somebody. It's causing some a lot of um, feeling stuck and bound in their thoughts, left out in the cold. Um, somebody from the past, and that that they need to communicate too. So because I feel like it's a family situation, I feel like like this is this is this is the baby mama. OK, so whether you're married to this person or not, you may have a child together. OK, and I feel like somebody is obsessed with a third party and they're not speaking. Right. They're not speaking to this Ten of Cups. This King of, of Pentacles may have blocked this family situation, blocking, feeling very trapped in their head, leaving out in the cold somebody from the past. Somebody you had somebody, you, you know, this is a strong connection. Now, I feel like there's a strong connection with this Ten of Cups, Six of Cups energy. Very strong soulmate connection, right? But there's going to be communication, and I want to find out why. I want to see what else is coming up here. Nosy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, feeling very discontent, waiting, waiting, waiting for happiness. So I feel like you could be dealing with a, Gemini, you could be dealing with... I don't know if you're the person from the past. I think you could possibly be this Queen of Cups energy. Very in your very or you could be a Gemini Cancer Cusper. Um 
for some reason I'm feeling that because with this queen of cups coming out, but I feel like obsessed. I, f I feel like someone's obsessed with a third party. So they're not speaking to, to you, right? They're not speaking to you right now, Gemini. And it, this person's coming in as a king of pinnacles and maybe I've blocked somebody feeling very trapped in their head out in the cold from somebody in the past communication with you. I feel like communication with you, but you're very discontent waiting for happiness. So you you may have some back and forth communication with this person, but you feel very, very, um, like you're very, I'm not saying, well, the Four of Cups can be bored as well, but I feel like you're unhappy having to wait for your happiness. But a truth is being spoken, okay? And somebody's going to see something from a different perspective, and they're going to come towards you with that cup, okay? Mm. Um. I feel like this, well, I'm not going to go through the whole deck. I just feel like, the, you know, the reason they're not speaking to you is that devil energy with that three, with that three of pentacles, which to me is um, obsessed with a third party. All right, Gemini. Options. Wheel of Fortune is moving in your favor. may not feel like it, but it is. Um, it doesn't feel like it. You are asking for strength. You're worried you're not strong enough. You are, okay? You are. Nine of Pentacles. You're showing up here as, as, um, as single, as strong, as not needing anyone else to... Um, you know, to completely complete you, you are, and you have everything you need, right? What's what it got? So judgment, who either a decision or a reconciliation. No seven of swords. I feel I get one more. Cause we have the seven of cups too. I feel like, okay. I feel like there's a possibility here, guys, that um, somebody from your past that had some options that moved on that left you feeling like you weren't good enough whatever um you've now kind of leveled up and you realize your worth you know your worth and here they come here they come crawling back um wanting to reconcile after they have you know kind of done you dirty regardless of of what that dirty actually is it doesn't have to be all you know terrible terrible things but it could have even just been lying about something or or not telling you something um, but they were your ten. They were your ten of cups, and I do feel like um, I do feel like you had children. I really, really do, and I I'm not I'm not sure why, but I do. You had children with this person, but you are strong enough on your own, and you realize that. It's like if you if you look at this card, um, the dad is is really really looking up, and and the mom is kind of looking over. So. Like, this dad is looking at this single mom now, like, man, is she even going to talk to me? Um, maybe. Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Okay. This was the person that they cheated on you with, and now they want to reconcile. Okay? They left you out in the cold. That's how you felt for a long time. Um, they walked away from you, leaving you on your own, leaving you to, to handle the burden of the of everything on your own. And, and they kind of, I feel like they, they, they chose this path and watched you struggle. And now you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm done. I don't, I don't want your ace of cups. I'm waiting for something better to come my way. Three of wands. I am waiting for something better to come my way. And here it comes. And it's just going to break down this tower. You're going to heal from this three of swords. that This person did an emperor is coming your way. Yeah, because this it, because this relationship ended in betrayal. Wow. So, yeah. I just feel like that's for a family. I'm not sure why. The comments that I got from last week's cancer. <laughs> <laughs> cancer. You got to go really throaty, cancer. Uh, there is a There was I can I would have to I need to ask I need to ask uh Tyler. Cause there was a, there was some show or something that Brand's grandma. I want it. Well, yeah, but it, I want to say it was on like a kid's television show. And the lady was talking about chocolate. I really love the chocolate. <laughs> you have one card flipped over. I do. Oh yeah. It's driving me crazy when I see it. <laughs> Hail, hails, bales. 
heart that, stuff. So it's that the five yes, of pentacles. Yes. Don't want that flipped over. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let's get into cancer and see what's going on for cancer. What does cancer need to know? I don't know what cancer needs to know. Oh, you need to know. They say walk away. Just walk away. Walk away. When I used to get it mad at somebody, I'd just walk away. Just walk away. Save yourself. <laughs> so, um, so I feel like somebody's watching, wanting a new beginning in love, but there's a tower moment because somebody walked away from them, okay? I'm reading that backwards, but for some reason I was drawn to. They want to rush towards you and speak the truth, emotional communication, king of wands. This could be an Aries Leo or a Sag, doesn't have to be. This is just somebody who is very charismatic, good looking, goes for what he wants. He would rather uh, apologize than ask permission kind of thing. Um uh, yeah, I see. He wants to reconcile with you. He sees you as fiery and hot. I feel like this is your energy for some reason. And he feels very trapped in his head about you. Okay. Because you're a soulmate. Very, he's still holding on to a soulmate. Okay. Um, I feel like, and under the bottom of the deck is a decision that needs to be made, but you may have walked away from somebody who's watching you, wanting this new beginning and love. This king of wands wants to rush towards you and emotionally communicate. Let's reconcile, queen of wands. You're coming in as a true match. Look at this. Even though cancer, you're, you're, you're coming in as a true match. So this person is a strong soulmate connection to you, right? He wants to reconcile with the queen of wands because they are a soulmate. This is not about the choice between two. This is because you guys are a soulmate and he's still holding on, feeling very trapped in his head. And I say his because he's coming in a masculine energy, but um, this, it could be your energy is the masculine. You could be either one of these, okay? You could be the king or the queen of wands. Take it out, resonates with you. But whoever um, is is coming towards wanting to reconcile with their person that they can't get out of their head and they are still holding on to. All right, Cancer. Good gravy. Okay. Yeah. Hard act to follow. Five of swords. Somebody's playing games. Woo, five of wands. There's a lot of change going on. There's a lot of there's a lot of moving energy right now. Fives in tarot are all are all about change, okay? Un change is uncomfortable. Change is sometimes even painful, but somebody's somebody is willing to win at all costs, and there is a lot of competition, or there is a lot of back and forth. Oof, in a relationship, somebody is coming in hot, or this could be an argument. Oh, oh, oh. but this relationship is coming to an end. Okay, all of this caused this. Okay, that's how I'm seeing that. That's how I'm reading that. And this could have been a very big fight that led to the end of this relationship, okay? Um, I do feel like it's been a long time coming, and you're kind of ready to set yourself free. Yes, just as I say that. You're ready to take a leap of faith and move away from all of this fighting and arguing and jealousy and, and whatever it was, because you are, you're just tired of feeling it in, in that energy, stuck in that energy. The center of this read, you are ready to break free from all of this. You are ready to take a leap of faith, right? Six of cups. Um, hmm. Could be somebody from the past is communicating emotionally with you. <laughs> what did you get on this, Barbara? Same thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just check it. So, but I do, I feel like you had to go through this for this person to even show up. That's just how I feel. Okay. But they're going to be communicating with you um, because you're free now, right? These two cards are resting on, on this fool energy. You are free now, right? You are free to choose whatever you'd like, whatever you want to do. Okay. You're ready to set some healthy boundaries. Um, you have fought the good fight and you, you are still standing, right? But somebody wants to come in and um, this could be a, a divorce also. You could have, have went through a divorce and now somebody's, you know, coming back around or coming around. Ooh, we got a king of pentacles and a king of wands. You may have multiple choices because. Yeah, that king of pentacles has been in, in Cancer's reading for months and months. Yes, yes. But this king of wands, his his whole thing is I see it, I want it, it's mine. So if that king of wands is coming for you, that's going to be some stiff competition for this king of pentacles. But you may have options. And you know what? This is not necessarily saying that you have to pick just one. You can date as many people as you want. 
hell, I don't care what you do. Nobody cares what you do. Do what you want. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just just make sure just make sure that you're happy. And I think that you will be because coming out of this, I mean, this is this is That's uncomfortable energy at the very yeah. least. Yeah. Very, very least. And it caused this, which looks even more uncomfortable, to be honest. <laughs> yep. So there you go. OK, Cancer. OK, so let's get into Leo. What does Leo need to know, please? What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? I tell you, Barb, we need to know all the things. <laughs> Look at this. Reconciling Queen of Cups, Empress Energy, new passionate beginning with the the King of Wands. Oh. So. Let's see who's reconciling here. I don't feel like there's a choice. I feel like. Okay. I feel like reconciling i feel like use your intuition here to reconcile this there's something that's reconciling with the soulmate okay this queen of cups could be an empress here as well because the empress for me is is uh libra it's taurus it's cancer right um but i feel like representing that someone's using their intuition to take a the the empress is not just about um you know, being the divine feminine, it's also about creation and new beginnings and all of that. So I feel like to reconcile, use your intuition for this new beginning, a new passionate beginning with this king of, of wands. The king of wands is the emperor in a lower vibration, right? This is a soulmate taking a leap of faith. Look, But looking back at the past mistakes, being patient to have something long-term and committed. So don't just take somebody for face value. I see it. I want it. It's mine. Not necessarily. Tap the brakes, Mr. Um, charismatic over here. Because <laughs> if the queen, if, if the empress here, she's she's taking her time looking at the, at the, at the nonsense in the past. She's going to make you wait a minute. She's not going to give you all all the you're not going to have your cake and eat it, too. She's she's more powerful than you. You know, it, when you're the emperor, you've measured up to her standard at that point. Right now, you're underneath her. You're not on the same level. You're not on the same page. And I don't feel like this is your energy, Leo. I feel like this is the energy. This could be, I guess it could be, you could be coming in as a masculine energy here. But first and foremost, I felt like this energy, these two, the Queen of Cups and the Empress, I feel like using their intuition about new beginnings, especially new passionate beginnings with this person. You know, you know, this person needs to earn it. This person needs to prove himself in this case because he's not an emperor yet. He's just a king of wands. He's got to level up to her level as far as I'm concerned. I like it. All right. Ace of Swords. Truth is coming out. Seven of Wands. Um. Yeah. So somebody has been has been blocking someone and this ace of swords is going to cut right through it. Um this person that's been doing the blocking, obviously the person blocked feels out in the cold. Um page of sword, but this person that's done the blocking is watching, watching, watching. And it's really only a matter of time before this ace of swords shows up and and you know, breaks it all down, right? The wheel is turning on this situation because the truth will out, right? I mean, you you can't block somebody for, I mean, I guess you can block somebody forever, but when this wheel shows up, uh -uh, this sword is going to, it's like a stick in a stick in the bike's boats, right? Here's that queen of pentacles again. And I feel like the queen of pentacles is this, is this five of pentacles. She feels out in the cold. She does. She's not aware yet um, that something is going to break through because now this person is coming through wanting to win at all costs. They've been watching, 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 but still watching from behind closed doors, right? Watching this nine of pentacles, this queen of pentacles and this nine of pentacles, I think is the same person. Um, this nine that of pentacles, is, yeah, just doesn't, doesn't, yeah, the empress doesn't need anybody. And here's a queen of swords. I think these are, I think this is the same person. I think that this person has been alone in the, out in the cold long enough. This wheel has turned and it has really brought her, you know, leveled her up so that she can be, um, what, you know, the highest vibrating, you know, self 
person that she can be, right? She may very well walk away from this person when they show up. What do we got? Yeah. Ace of Pentacles, which is a great one. Four of Cups, which she may very well have thought about this person for a long time and um, finally turned their back, turned her back on her. Two of Pentacles, probably because they were juggling. But Six of Swords, this is a journey that they both went on, had to go on um, for a reason. Like there was a reason. And now there's an offer. Now there's an apology. Now this door is, is swinging open. What do we have? On the, yeah, the Lovers and the Empress. It, this is exactly what it did. All of this leveled her up to the Empress. So now we have a choice. Now we have an offer, an apology, and a choice with this Empress. And now she's she's totally, completely aware of her power. And whatever happens is gonna is gonna be a tower moment. But I do I feel like they're gonna work on it. Um and they're gonna work through the, you know, the path, through the past, through the darkness, through the through the fears, through the things that happened, through the betrayals that happened. And here's that King of Swords and Justice. So there you go. This person is going to get whomever you are in this in this Leo who if you're doing the blocking or if somebody else is blocking you, it's for a reason. OK, it's for a reason. They have to go through what they have to go through. But uh, justice will prevail. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, OK, uh, OK. But I, so... feel like this has been, I feel like I feel like Leo is like, all right already. But like. I mean, could we do this before Christmas or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we, can we just finish this? Finish it! <laughs> right. That's very twin flamey. That kind of like stuck together but far apart. It's so, it's just exhausting. I always feel like it's an Oreo. There's always something in the middle. They're freaking you know? good, man. <laughs> There's always something in the middle. Right. So, Anyway, okay, so Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, give me clarity and guidance for Virgo. What's Virgo need to know? Virgo coming in as an emperor at a crossroads about some kind of a burden with the pre-empress, okay? Um, to move forward, Queen of Cups, option. King of Pentacles, a choice. For a long time, okay. Okay, so what I'm feeling like is you may be in an emperor in emperor energy here, uh, Virgo, but you're at a crossroads because there was some burden with the, with the empress. So there was some kind of a burden that was caused with this empress, maybe because you moved on with the Queen of Cups, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, that was an option. Um, you're coming in as the King of Pentacles. Emperor, King of Pentacles, because there was a choice between two for a long time. So the burden is that that you may have moved on with somebody else. And now this has been your story for a while. This has been your story for a while, Virgo. Mm -hmm. um, you moved on with somebody else and you you moved away from your empress. You did. So mm -hmm. it happened. It could have happened a year or two ago. Yeah. 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 This has been. Yeah. It's been yeah. Coming not just. It has, and it's moving at the speed of Virgo also. So yes. two, two of wands, making a choice. I think making a choice um, and then and then making that choice known, speaking to someone about the choice that they made. Um, passionate, right? But that passion can also be, it doesn't necessarily have to be like love story passionate. It can be kind of defensive, you know, on the defensive passionate. Yes. Um, especially if someone made a choice and then told you, hey, I, I didn't choose you, which is kind of what I felt like has happened. So, you know, Virgo, you've just kind of been working on on whatever. But here comes this new passionate beginning. Finally, things start to move. Queen of Pentacles. There you are. There you are, looking down at that pinnacle like, you know, this is mine. I don't have to share it if I don't want to. I worked real hard. Nine of Wands. Um, yeah, this has been this has been happening for a long time. And I think that your person tried to get to you or you tried to get to your person for a long time. Um, and li like you're just on your last leg. You don't it, there's not a lot of energy left. Something's got to give. Right. Well, and there it is. Two of Cups. Finally, finally, finally. Oh, and here it comes. That water Uber. Here it comes. Yeah, it's been it's been a long time coming. This chariot is now finally picking up speed. Um, but it's been forever. Forever. Yep. Ever. 
Woof. There you go. There you go. Okay, so what do we got for Libra? What do we got for Libra, please? Libra walking I... away, walking away from a player. Ooh, making a head over heart decision to cut something out. Emotional communication about some kind of juggling. King of King of Pentacles. You've been showing up a lot. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, wish fulfillment. Um, but being at a crossroads because of the competition. Um, and I feel like breadcrumbed. So, and feeling trapped in your head to communicate, you're watching something end with a third party. Okay, so Libra, I feel like you're walking away from a player. Now, I feel like the player, it could be this King of Pentacles, but let's see. Walking away from a player, somebody was there for a good time, not a long time, making a head over heart decision to cut something out. So you're making a decision to just walk away from this emotional communication about somebody juggling. So there's emotional communication about some kind of juggling with a king of pentacles. So you may be telling this king of pentacles, somebody was juggling you, but that this king of pentacles is your wish fulfillment. Like you want to be with them. You don't want to be with this other person who is a player. You're at a crossroads because there's a lot of competition. You feel like there's competition. I don't feel like there is. I feel like you think there is, but there's not. Um, but I feel like you feel trapped in your, like, you want equal give and take, but you're feeling very trapped in your head about communicating. So you're kind of just watching. No, that's not what that's telling me. So this is somebody who was breadcrumbed. This is somebody who's breadcrumbed, and we have somebody who feels very trapped in their head because someone was bread breadcrumbed. Um, but I feel like there's communication that somebody's watching. An ending with a third party. Mm. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> I, had to, I had to get, you know, spirits talking to me and I'm trying to figure out what they're trying to say. Okay, so Libra, you walked away from this player and you made a decision to cut this out, but you're emotionally communicating about the juggling to this king of pinnacles who is your wish fulfillment okay this is the person you really want to be in you're saying i'm leaving that in the past because this person was a player but you're at a crossroads because you feel like there might be competition there but there's really not okay but you feel like you could be trapped in your head wanting to know if you're going to have equal give and take with this person but i feel like what they're telling you what they're telling you is that they saw they saw the ending with this third party they seen it coming they seen you leaving. So they were watching you. It's almost like you both are watching each other. Does that make sense? So, you know, this is this is what this King of Pentacles is telling you. He's communicating. Yeah, I saw you in something with a third party, but you walked away from that third party. Do you see what I'm saying? Interesting. Boy, that's, a, that's, inter that's, that's a lot. Like that, that, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. It's like, I see you. I saw it. I right. watched you. You tell so he knows you're telling him the truth. That's what I'm saying. Right. That's what I'm getting at. You both been paying attention. Okay, so yes. seven of cups. Let's find out what this is about. The fool. Hmm. Picking a cup and taking a chance. Oh. Devil. And the five of cups. Okay. So this is um somebody who needs to make a choice. Okay. But is really stressed out that they're going to make the wrong choice. They have the history of making the wrong choice. They have a history of bad decisions, you know, not good relationships, whatever. The fool in this case really could be just kind of acting a fool, right? Wanting, but, oh, okay. Wanting, wanting that new beginning in love. But here again is this competition, right? with an associated with an ending. So there may have previously been an option that was toxic um, that you um, just really stressed out about. And now here comes this new love. And you, again, you think there's competition, you know, but there's not. It, it, it's not going to end the way your previous relationship, you know, ended. Um, Queen of Swords. So here you are, Libra, saying, I, I will gut you like a fish if you, you know, screw me over. <laughs> um six of cups listen to me <laughs> why are you laughing <laughs> <laughs> she's 
she's got that. She's got. She's got that gut. She's gonna gut him. She is. She will. She him. will gut you like a fish. Uh, so here's this. So six of cups. This could be. Um, this ace of cups could be with a past soulmate, a past life soulmate, but it's a strong soul connection that you're gonna move forward with, even though you're worried about all of this toxicity and all of this competition. Knight of Wands, yet you're worried they're a player, but they're not. They're, I think they're a king of cups, and they're going to offer you a real relationship. You're, they're going to end this burden with this soulmate energy. They are willing to win at all costs to get their wish fulfillment. Um, you're still thinking about the past, but here's that king of swords. Now we have a true match, right? You're thinking back to the past, like, is this going to happen again? Is this going to happen again? It's not. You've got you've got two people on the same page meant for one another. We've got Ace of Cups, the Lovers, and the Six of Cups with this King and Queen of Swords. You're fine. Whatever happened in the past, whatever bad choices you made in the past, whatever sadness came from that, whatever whatever betrayal came from that, um, it's it's you may think it's there, but it's not. Let it ride. Calm down. Don't don't freak out. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna get what comes to you, and it's gonna be good. There you go. Okay. Yep. Okay, so Scorpio, what we got for Scorpio? What's going on for Scorpio? Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, there's a relationship and passionate communication to a soulmate. Um, to work on a situation, I feel like, but you're very kind of guarded. Somebody's guarded because of the competition for a long time. So you may have somebody trying to communicate to you that they want to work it out with you, but you feel very guarded and defensive about some kind of uh, competition for a long time. But I feel like you're manifesting divine timing. It You're manifesting this new beginning. Okay. You are manifesting a new beginning. So in divine timing, um, is coming it's been manifested things are going to happen this new beginning here you have all of the tools that you need you have the wand you have the 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 sword you have the cup and you have the pinnacle you know with that divine timing that new beginning is coming um to work on a situation to work it out so let go of your fear let go of your jealousies so I feel like you're very guarded and defensive because of strife, jealousy, competition. So I feel like the jealousy for a long time, like you've been a jealous person for a long time. Let it go. You got the 1111. You got passionate communication with a soulmate to work on, to work on. It's going to be working out. It's going to be worked out. I like it. Under the bottom of the deck, I got reconciliation. So yeah, it's going to be worked out. I like it. All right. So we have strength. And we have the nine of cups. So you are strong enough to, to, to go through whatever you need to go through and you will get wish fulfillment. Okay. There's communication coming in a real offer, like an actual offer that you can trust something tangible that you can trust. Okay. Queen of swords. Again, you are, you're, you know, if somebody doesn't come to you straight, they better not come at all. Because again, I mean, this woman means business. She doesn't have that giant sword for no reason. It's not jewelry, okay? Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. She will bring that thing down, even if even if she has to bring it down on the emperor, right? Yeah. Even, you know, in, if he's in a lower vibration than he should be, she is not going. This queen of swords is the one not to mess with, okay? So, but I feel like he's coming. He's coming in with a real offer, okay? And you just you have some you still have some healing to do from something in the past. When I see the strength um, and the four of swords coming together in a reading, the universe is really working on healing you and and giving you the strength that you need. Now, just because it's giving you the strength that you need doesn't mean that you know it. OK, you have to believe it. You have to speak it into fruition. OK, you have healing on board. You have a real offer. You have laid down boundaries. You are strong. And this is an emperor coming in to to help. So he wants to plant plant seeds with you, right? The Seven of Pentacles um, does talk about the past, but it also talks about things that we've worked on coming to fruition. Finally being able to pluck those pentacles out of the tree and put them in the basket, take them to town and buy a new sweater or whatever it is they buy there. Um, <laughs> lo the lovers, right? Making a choice, but also coming together, making the right choice in in divine timing back and forth communication but you know this is also um 
you know, for water signs, this is pretty, pretty passionate, pretty fiery, right? And there you go. Here comes that chariot. They're coming right at you. And, and they're coming at you very balanced, very victorious in the, the like in the right mindset. Um, it, and it's something you've been waiting for and you may not have even known it. You may not be see, even see it coming, right? Because you've had these, these endings, these being left out in the cold, but you have a brand new passionate beginning coming. This is very, very saucy for a water sign. Just saying. <laughs> but it's a Scorpio. So uh, they're the, I feel like they're the sauciest of the water. They sign. are. They are. I just had a Scorpio yes. move into my house. Barb. Well, there you go. There you go. I was like, I didn't even know she was a Scorpio until today. I don't know how I didn't know that. And I was like, well, all right then. <laughs> well, well, okay then. Yes. Okay. So Sagittarius, what do we have for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, Sagittarius you may be ending something to start something new. Communicating, waiting, waiting to move forward. Um. There's going to be an offer. You are got your you got your eye on a King of Cups. Yes. You got your eye on a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, possibly a Cancer, because of this King of Cups and the Chariot together. Um, so you know, mastering their emotions to move forward, King of Wands. There you are. There you are. So you may be ending something to start something new. There's going to be a lot of, this could be you moving forward quickly, a lot of forward movement. Um, this may be communication, a lot of back and forth communication, but waiting to take a leap of faith. So you may be communicating to somebody after you've ended something, you close that a cycle, you're communicating that you're waiting to move on. To move on. Um, there could be an apology. Um, and somebody you're watching this King of Cups, somebody's, uh, there's an offer or an apology, but somebody could be, Either they're gathering information or spying on a king of cups. But somebody's moving forward. Okay, let me. Okay. Okay. So I feel like there's an offer. There's an offer, but you're still watching this king of cups. I feel like this is who you ended something with. So I feel like your energy, this could be your energy or this could be the, the person you're headed towards. Um, but in ending of a cycle, communicating that you're waiting to take that leap of faith. There was an offer. There's an offer, but somebody's watching a king of cups. But they're moving towards the king of wands for something long term and committed because that's their wish. Under the bottom of the deck, you have an emperor. Um, I don't feel like the emperor is stuck in his head um, trying to heal from being blocked, very guarded. No, I don't feel like that. I don't feel like I, I feel like this person's leveling up or this could be you leveling up to the emperor or that's who you're going towards because your wish fulfillment is is the emperor. And that is the the king of wands in a lower vibration. So it's one and the same. I don't even feel like you showed up on the board here, Sagittarius. I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is you going towards this person. Yeah, yeah. That'll be interesting. Let us know in the comments, guys, because that'll be interesting to, you know, to kind of see how that plays out. All righty. So we have some justice, some Libra energy on the board. And Six of Cups, past relationship, past soulmate. Aw, and the sun. And the two of swords. So somebody made a head over heart decision um, about a past relationship. But with this justice card here, I feel like it was the right decision. It was. They may have had to choose between two. They chose the right one. They chose their soulmate, the, the, you know, the one that brought them happiness. Happiness. And here's this lover's card, right? Um, and this could be the start of something really, really beautiful. Um, and then, then there's the death card. I can't. It was going so well. Um, okay, however, yeah, this could be this could be um, just you know transformation. You made the right choice, and your life is transforming. The death card, okay, the death card shows up um, when old expended energy is is in the way, when things have ended, and death comes to clear the way for you know a brand new day. He doesn't come in to kill anybody. That's not what that is. I don't read for that. 
I don't think Barb breeds for that. I, that's just not what yeah. I, that's just not what I see. There is a transformation happening because you made the right choice. Okay. Because you made the right choice could be a water sign that's, that's offering their emotions to you. And I don't see this as blocking and I don't see it as defensive. They're ready to fight for this. They're not, they're not going to let anyone or anything get in the way of this. If somebody tries to come at them or come at you, they are going to, they're going to defend that. Okay. Because here you are, look, you're, I just feel like this is you. You are, you are single. You are strong. You are independent. You are fierce. You got a damn bird. See, look, every single queen of coin or nine of coin has a, has a bird. Okay. But the right choice has been made. There is justice in the air. There is happiness in the air because of this choice that you made. You have a soulmate coming towards you to make an offer, transform your life, offer some emotions, re ready and willing to fight for you. And here you are down at the bottom. You've been waiting for this and here they come. Um, and we've got this uh, queen of cups that very well um, could be you leveling up or male, female, doesn't matter. You know, it could be this person leveling up when they come, come towards you, but here's the world. It's cycles ending um, and new cycles beginning. So whatever this choice was that got made up here um, had to be that way so that you could get this beautiful relationship down here. And this is beautiful guys. This is good energy. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So Capricorn, what's Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know, please? What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Capricorn, you're making a decision to cut something out. You're unhappy. You're unhappy and you want the truth. You want the truth so you can make this decision in a relationship. Okay. So a victory a victory is your 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 wish is a victory and i feel like you're oh what happened well i feel like okay so what i'm getting here is i feel like there's a decision that needs to be made and you're unhappy about something you're discontent um and you want the truth about a relationship or you you're unhappy about a, a relationship um and I feel like you're you're trying to get a victory because that's what your wish is. Your wish is to to win in the situation. So uh, I feel like you're I feel like you're fighting with somebody. You want the truth about a relationship, and you're making a decision because you're unhappy in a situation. But you wish to win. You wish to win at this. But I feel like there's an option here, and somebody's heartbroken, feeling very trapped in their head. So I feel like. This person doesn't want to come clean. Emotional communication, feeling very, feeling very uh, sleepless nights, trapped in their head, wanting to communicate, but still feeling trapped in their head, needing to heal something from the past with a two of cups to have a new beginning. Um, but I feel like there, there's regret. There's regret. And I feel like the reason that, so you have one person, that I feel like fighting, like, tell me the truth. Tell me the truth or I'm going to I'm going to leave. I'm unhappy. I'm going to cut something out. I'm going to I'm going to leave this relationship. But you really do want a victory. You want to win with this person. But there was an option. And this person feels uh, heartbroken, um, feeling trapped in their head, wanting to communicate, but literally being trapped in their head, sleepless nights. And I feel like with this to heal something from the past with the two of cups to have a new beginning. But they've got regret. So I feel like somebody cheated. Someone did cheat and they, they felt very trapped in their head about this. So that'll happen. Truth be told, truth be told it's got to come out. Truth is going to come out. All right. Queen of Cups. Drink. Hmm. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay. So the Queen of Cups needs strength. This is an offer or an apology, to be honest. Um. Yeah, nine of swords trapped up in their head. So this person that's offering this apology is very trapped up in their head. And this queen of cups um, could be you, Capricorn, in the energy of feeling very emotional, right? That I mean, cups is water energy that's very emotional, um, needing strength for this, for this apology. Um, but this person that's making the apology or the offer or whatever it is has been very, very, very up in their head, sleepless nights, like you said, right? Um, yeah. 
offering some emotional communication about something that was hidden, something that you didn't know, something that probably came to light, could have happened a long time ago, or they've been holding on to it for a long time. And you've probably felt it. If you're coming in as the Queen of Cups, you have felt it. You knew it was there. Your intuition was telling you something is not right. And you had, you know, had the strength probably to to speak up about it. And now you're just kind of, I think, you're waiting to see what happens. I don't know that anybody has actually left yet. I think you're probably close. Um, but there's the opportunity to heal it or for you to heal. What are we healing here? Oh, right. Okay. So we're healing this. There is the opportunity, if you choose to take it, to heal this marriage, this relationship, this this whatever this is. Okay. Um, but I do feel the weight of this of this is is a lot. I think it's immense. Um, yeah, feeling very defensive, literally wanting to just take off, just wanting to, t just wanting to take off, but knowing that this, this, you know, this, this energy of whatever the lying and cheating, it, it's just going to follow you if you don't deal with it. Um, and you just want something equal. And here you are, queen of swords. Once you, once you guys get down to communication, um, they better come at you straight, right? Because they were juggling um, and made a to created a toxic environment. And now you just want the truth. You don't want anything, but the, don't say anything if it's not the truth. And same with this high priestess. They know the truth. You want the truth. Don't say anything to me if it's not the damn truth. That's what I'm getting. That's, That's what it. I'm getting. You're using your intuition here and you're, you know, something is being, you know, the light's been shown on something. Don't say it if it's not the truth. That's where you're at. Well, Oof. I know. Got that was a lot. Got some layers there. Okay, so <laughs> Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? I what need some need Tums now, now after that. <laughs> <laughs> Aquarius. Aquarius juggling the competition. Oh, somebody single and a new passionate beginning. Woo woo. Ten of cups. Someone's trying to understand something from a different perspective about their happiness. They're getting justice. They're getting justice. And they're daydreaming about moving on. Okay, so Aquarius, yours is pretty cut and dry for me. I feel like, you know, uh, somebody was juggling the competition. Now you're single, right? You're single now. And you're having a new passionate beginning. Uh, there may have been a family situation and you may see things differently now and you're ready for your happiness and justice because of your daydreaming here about moving on. So I don't feel like you're sticking around. You're not sticking around for nobody. You know, they juggled you with the competition. So uh, now that's why you're single because somebody had a passionate beginning, a family situation here, seeing something differently about this family situation. It's like, okay, if you can do it, I can do it. So and I'm moving on truth. to my justice. There we go. All right. Ace of Pentacles, brand new, shiny beginning. Ace of Wands. Whew. Bring in the heat and the world. So whatever you have closed out, you've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands coming in. And here's the page of cups to tell you about it. Emotional communication um about something maybe you didn't know but i don't think it's bad not when we've got these two aces i think it was just something that you didn't see before maybe this is somebody who um has liked you or cared about you or had feelings for you for a long long time and kept it hidden and now they're ready yes they are because that not only not only do they think you're beautiful not only do they not only do they want to offer you something um for whatever reason, I just wanted to say 50 shades of gray and go. Yep. They want to have a family with you and to have a family with you. You've got to have a lot of gray, right? Got to have a lot of that. This is some, this is some hot sex. I don't care what anybody says. This is right on this uh, ace of wands, which is very phallic and the world. This is, this is moving forward. This is, this isn't toxicity. And I know it's next to the moon, but I feel like this is a person that you didn't know cared about you. And you have the opportunity to have a beautiful, beautiful family relationship, right? And there's, there's strength right there. Got to keep your strength up, right? Two of Pentacles. Let me just see here. What's two of Pentacles? The star. Yeah, see, this is good. This is not bad. Queen of Swords. I'm not 
that popped out. I don't know. We'll see. It is Aquarius, so. Yeah. Well, yeah. But this is, I think this is everything you ever wanted. I think, you know, a lot of times you think it's one or the other, right? One or the other, one or the other. But you can have both. And I know that this devil, um, a lot of times, is just no bueno, right? But I'm telling you, with an Ace of Pentacles and an Ace of Wands, I'm okay with it. I think you didn't know that this person felt this way about about you. But you're going to get, I mean, you're going to get something truly amazing. We have the star here. It doesn't get any better than that. I mean, just because you didn't see it coming or didn't know that it was coming or maybe are, are afraid of it because it's so big and so fast and so passionate doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. It's it's happiness. It's growing something with someone. It's the universe saying you deserve this relationship. So there you go. There you go. There you go. There, there you go. go. Okay, so Pisces, 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 what in the world does Pisces need to know? What is Pisces? Oh, Barb. Pisces. Pisces, there's an ending. Oh, oh, transformation. Okay. Um, I feel like. Okay, so somebody, there's an ending here and somebody apologizing for juggling something long-term and committed. Uh, there was a passionate new beginning here. Someone's needing the strength to work on a situation. Okay, they're needing the strength to work on it. They're looking back at the past mistakes. They want justice here for somebody's not speaking, um, you know, not not telling them anything. Um, un, unhappy with regrets, discontent regrets, but there's going to be communication. So Pisces. Um, somebody's watching you um so i feel like that you ended something with somebody and now they're apologizing for juggling you may have been in something long term and committed with this person or this could have been um uh, about money um but there's a new passionate beginning and someone's needing strength to work on a situation but they're still looking back at the past wanting justice for for whatever was secret you know this is the keeper of the secrets here right this is not speaking about what's hidden right so um i feel like you want justice for for this and you you kind of feel like somebody could regret a missed opportunity to communicate this is somebody could reg be regretting a missed opportunity to communicate with you um but what was hidden? I feel like they didn't speak to you. They didn't tell you about anything. But now they're coming in with this apologize to to apologize or offer you something. Wow. All right then, Pisces. Page of Swords. You're watching somebody, or somebody's watching you, or both, and you're not speaking to each other at all, like at all. And it's been it's burdensome. It this this has been going on for a long time. It's getting heavy. Like. This poor guy just about ready to lose his load there, right? Like, he can't keep that up. You cannot keep that up. Um, King of Swords. So I feel like, again, this is more This is more blocking. Somebody's being very cold, being very um, unavailable, probably for quite some time, not speaking. Um, this, this is a person that probably blocked somebody, even though they're still watching. Yep, there you are, Pisces, trying to wrap your brain around. I think what is going on is there's a person that you obviously have been thinking about for a long time, and you're trying to gain some perspective because nothing is changing. It's like just this stagnant, cold energy where you're both watching, but neither one of you are talking, and it, you're trying to figure it out. You're very stuck and bound, stuck, stuck in your head. But you're also very attached to this person, to this situation, to this energy, and you're trying to figure it out. Um, there could have been, you know, some deceit. Maybe that's why no one's talking. Something ended because of some. Oof. But it is a it is a twin flame four eleven relationship. Four eleven is that what I said? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Moving forward. Yeah, but here you. But here, here we go. So it's like I see this as busting out of the gates. The gates that you built to keep you back. Woo. Yeah. Now you're picking up some speed or your person is Pisces, right? Now they're picking up speed. And now we have a pair on the board. Um, your person does not see this coming. Could be a Leo. But here you are, Pisces. Um, 
keeping this hidden, but you're going to come in with an offer to this nine of pentacles to heal a relationship, emperor energy, having a victory, back and forth communication. There you go. Hot diggity dog. Hot diggity dog. There's that relationship coming mm -hmm. to coming in. So finally, okay, guys, guys, don't forget to go to both of our channels and like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you're notified when we upload new content. And we thank you all for coming by. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Yes. And also next week I will be um, in a different physical location, but it still will be the same. Still me, still the same card, still the same reading. Um, I will just be in a different location for the next 13 weeks. So um, on that note, I guess everybody just have a beautiful week.